Hey, welcome back to Kentucky Route Zero. As you can see, we're on Act 2, Scene 2, St. Thomas Church, a while back. Let's get into it. Oh yeah, my name's Dr. Not, by the way. If you haven't realized that already. Act 2, Scene 2. So we're here for some files at St. Thomas Church, which is now a storage center. Yeah. So. Let's chat with our folk first. Is that it over there? I don't see any congregation. Maybe it's after hours. Let's see what the janitor knows, I guess. Still limping like a, you know, injured bassy. I don't know. We'll see the doctor after this, potentially. Oh, here for the night mass? kind of mass is it? Tonight it's a homily on work and need. Huh, I haven't heard this one before. I hope he's not the preacher if he hasn't heard this one before. Where's the congregation? I guess this must look pretty strange. A church without a congregation. When they first moved in here, man, this place was packed. They had a mass every night, two on Sunday. But it got a bit awkward to fit everyone in and the numbers quickly dwindled. Once folks started to see it as a thing that was falling apart, they lost their center of gravity and just started wobbling. Then the preacher stopped coming too, but he left his old tapes, same with the organist, and I found some old acetates in the bureau archives, photos of people in churches, so I keep it running. You do what you have to do, right? Wait, this right here is the church? This? I thought we were going to go inside here. This is the church. Right now, we have to find some Bureau documents. Oh, you're from the Bureau. I moved all those documents to Unit C-315 to make room for the Mass. It's down at the other end of the building, same floor. I need to get the night Mass started, but you can borrow my keys. Oh, that's awful nice. I'll go. You wait here. Rest your leg. You're looking kind of pale. Nice lady. Well, I better get this running. Oh, good. We have to listen to this. Brandon presses play on an old tape machine. Conway, let's see what we can do. I'm not listening, let's just... Is your whole family Catholic? Oh no, we're not religious. I just watched and listened while the congregation did all the stuff and... Probably don't understand as much of it as you might think. Anyway, I know how to run the overhead projector and the tape player. At least I know enough to keep it going, right? Alright, let's, let's just keep asking. How do you like working here? It's okay. I don't really know what else I would do. I used to play a lot of card games, you know, in high school. Some of my friends went to college, but most of them just got jobs. Maybe in a few years we'll be hanging out in bars, playing darts or something. You're not allowed to play cards in the bar because it looks like gambling. My leg is killing me. I bet everyone's telling you to see a doctor. Hey, I get it. Too expensive. My dad cut his arm pretty bad on a job, but he stitched himself back up because we didn't have health insurance. Then his hand didn't work very well, and he got pretty depressed, and eventually he just sort of... Well, I guess I don't know what he should have done. Who knows, right? That's past tense. I mean, all this is past tense, obviously, but I'm guessing he didn't get better. So, this is like a hobby? If you asked me what my hobbies were, I'd say card games, science fiction, and perspective geometry. Okay. But I run the slideshow, and I play the tapes, and I don't get paid for it. I take it pretty seriously, but nobody's telling me I should. Is that a hobby? Seems like there ought to be a more serious word for it. Okay, that's it. Next, there are some rituals that you and I aren't allowed to participate in, I don't think. I don't remember them anyway. Like, like communion. Hi, got it. We were just talking about work and hobbies. What? I found what we came here to get file on street name changes. You don't look... good. Let's head back to the bureau and get this straightened out, and then maybe we should go see that doctor the clerk recommended. I feel like the doctor first? You know? Maybe? I don't know what else there is to do around here, but I'm just gonna walk on both. Okay, it's as far over as we can go here. And then how about over here? Can we go back this way? No. I'm kinda stuck on this linear path here. Am I going to make him hobble all the way over there? Probably not. Let's go. Whoa. If 
we have to drive back. I mean, eventually we'll loop around. Jesus, are you all right? What the hell? Wait. My leg is stuck. Shit, okay, I'm gonna pull you out. We have to get you out of here. Are we, like, we go back in time? There you go. Okay, are you hurt? Can you put any weight on that leg? So I'm gonna be like, it's all messed up. Last time I was like, it's fine. Or Conway was. I keep saying I. But you know, you know what I mean. It's all messed up. Here, let's get you to, uh, let's get you, let's get you out. Wait, <laughs> let's get you onto the tram. Oh my god. There you go. Now let's see if this thing has power. Whoa. So he just, like, went back, like, had a flashback or something. Hey, old man, look at me. Can you hear me? What happened? I don't know. He collapsed. I think he blacked out. He was mumbling about the old mine for a minute. The old mine where we met. Yeah, let's be clear here. I think I need to see that doctor. Yes, you do. She hands Brandon the doctor's card. How do we get this ad uh, to this address from here? Um, I don't know. It's pretty tricky going back and forth between... You know, here and there. The bureau is the only way I know. Some of those folks do it all the time. Commuters. Let's go back the way you came, find the crystal, and then turn around. That was pure luck, too. I don't even know how we did that. Turning around at the crystal. Alright, let's go back this way. Yeah, we press the Z button. Like, whatever that means. So the crystal was back here, right? The crystal Z. You almost went off the road for a second there. Can I take over? Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. We have to, like, get him asleep or not. Like, I don't understand. So which way is that? I think it's back this way. No, oh, jeez, there it is. Like, what? Like, he needs to go to sleep to, to get to the next area. Act 2, Scene 3, Bureau of Reclaimed Spaces. I feel like maybe he should sit there, you know? Alright. This crab is wearing a can of spray adhesive as a shell. There's a cat here. Back so soon? We need to get to the Interstate 65. Lula filed your papers, so you're in our system now. I can process you whenever you're ready to go back. Just let me know. Wait. Ready to be processed. She hands the receptionist Lula's card. That's Shannon, okay. Can you tell us how to get to this address? We're looking for Dr. Truman. Let's do the doctor first. Of course. This is in a neighborhood just outside of Bowling Green. Get on 65 going southwest. Take a right just past the observatory, just before the river. If you continue north, you'll be there shortly. Get on... wait. Get on 65 going southwest. Take a right. So we're going southwest, take a right past the observatory, go north. Okay, okay. Happy to help. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, how do we get out there? <laughs> Alright, 65, southwest. So we hit the observatory. This is Equus Oils. Oh, yeah, where we started. Cool. Um, observatory. Is it Plum Spring Road? Just before the river. If you continue north, you'll be there shortly. The river might be this dash line here. Let's go up this way. Dr. Truman's house? Question mark? The neighborhood of the address on Lula's card has been demolished. In its place is a large museum, still partially under construction. The love of... Act 2, Scene 4. Museum of Dwellings. And the question is, how do we get back to the zero? Hmm. 
Talk to Blue, per usual. Oh yeah, he was talking to his dog. Gaia was a weirdo. Thomas. What did he say? Just small talk, you know, like you're, like you talk to your buddies or something. Like you talk to a dock worker. It's like, damn, this is a lot of rain. I haven't seen rain like this since that storm a couple years back that took out Lisette's herb garden. Okay. okay. I just feel bad for the old dog getting dragged all over by a couple of drunks. Old dog like that should be sleeping on a porch somewhere. That's loyalty for you. Well, they didn't stay long anyway. What do you mean? It's like in a different world they're talking. Laura, I heard the man and the lady talking when they first came in, but they didn't see me. What were they talking about? The man said his leg was hurting him. They were looking for Dr. Truman, but he was already gone. They didn't know, so they kept looking around. This is weird. Fred, I just assumed they were from the power company. You know how they're always coming by unannounced and messing with this or that? I just shut myself up in my room to wait it out. No sense getting involved. They definitely weren't from the power company. Well, I wouldn't complain if they were, really. With that storm going on, I know they have to do their business. It doesn't affect me. I've got my generator, but you know, some of these folks around here, unprepared. Totally unprepared. Um, weird. We can just walk to wherever we want in here, but there's not, nothing to see. What is back here, actually? There's our truck. Going outside, apparently. Okay, what's the point of the umbrella? Oh. And rotate around. Perfect. What the hell? Laura, I was playing in that empty cabin, and they came by. They asked about Dr. Truman. I know where he went, but I didn't tell them. Where did Dr. Truman go? It's a secret, Ezra told me, and I can't tell anyone else. Who is Ezra? He's my age. He doesn't really live here. He's just passing through with his brother, Julian. First, they're going to help us, but I can't say any more about that. We have a lot of secrets. The lady asked me about my parents, and I told them they were upstairs in the greenhouse. Want to hear a weird story? Of course I do. Laura, uh, the old man asked me about the cabin. He said it looked like another house he knew, and he wanted to know where it came from. I told him nobody lived there, so he went inside. It took a long time exploring. When he came back out, he told me all about it. What did he find in the cabin? He went upstairs, and he also looked around the other rooms. I played with the dog. What did he do upstairs? He looked in some boxes. He looked out the window. He could see the museum better than when he was downstairs. He could tell how it was all put together. And the cabin, too. He could see the shape of it better from up there. Now, the part that is weird. He said he went into the basement. That cabin doesn't have a basement. He said he found a secret door on the floor. Then what? Then he found a rope leading down a long pit and he climbed down. It was so long his arms got very tired and, and he fell in the dark. He hurt his other leg and he couldn't walk at all. So he crawled until he found a garden. The garden was very beautiful. He felt so calm, he fell asleep. He woke up on the floor of the cabin, he came back outside, and we said goodbye, and I didn't talk to them anymore. What the actual hell? Weird. Wait, 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 go back, go back. This is like the, the actual museum of dwellings, you know? 
The moment, okay, this is Sadie. The moment I now recall most clearly from their short visit was the birdcage exhibit. The old man stopped to rest, or maybe to think. The young woman had been anxious up to that point, but she stopped as well and examined the birdcage more closely. It seemed to elicit a tenderness from her. She ran one fingernail along the bars of the wire cage, marking out a tuneless scale like a child's xylophone. And then they moved on. Okay. It's kind of dark, it's kind of hard to see. It's like a chicken coop. Fred, we ought to get some real chickens in that coop. Do some homesteading. None of these folks know how to live off the land. You know what I mean? It's just a display, another kind of dwelling. Yeah, no offense against you guys. I mean, I appreciate what all you've done for us. So did they move the houses from that town into this museum? And these are the folks that lived in the town, whether they exist or not is a question <laughs> I don't know to, the answer to. Everyone seems to be like a ghost. Thomas, that dog was in nearly as bad shape as the old man, just sort of shrugging along. They found some treats in the doghouse exhibit. That seemed to cheer him up a bit. Aw, oh, there you go, buddy. There you go, Blue. Flora, I think you need to get some real horses in the stable. Did the strangers go in the stable? No, they just poked around a bit and talked about barns. They were pretty boring. Okay. Let's see if we can ask the leading questions. I think there's a huge thing right here, too. And like, did they go in? Maybe the answer could be yes if we have that option. And then we could learn more. What's over here? Can we go this way? No. Can't. At least not in this direction. Oh, who's this? Walker. Sure, I talked to them for a bit. Actually, we talked for quite a while. I wasn't busy. I was happy for the company. Can't sleep in a storm like that. I never could. Uh, let's see. What did you talk about? I told him to put his umbrella away. I get great shelter right here. I had a bottle in my coat, and I could see the old guy looking at it. His leg was pretty, uh, hurt pretty bad, so I offered him some. He got real awkward about it. I bet he's in a program. Anyway, they were asking about Dr. Truman. I remember him. He was here for a bit, and then he left. So that's what I told them. Okay, we're gaining our knowledge. Also, Conway might be a drunk. It's been alluded to now twice by these mysterious people in the museum. Can we go further down here? Farther down here? Whatever the proper word is. Yes, we can. There's a bench. There's a forklift. So want to make sure that we're not, we aren't interacting with, or we're interacting with as much as we can. This is odd. Is this like not constructed? Can't go that way. Looks like they're still building this section. Oh, we can go up. All right. Don't. You gotta wait for blue though. There you go. I don't really know what's happening. Oh, now we need our umbrella for sure. kind of dangerous with, like, lightning and everything. Oh my, Lancelot, there's a person there. Ivy, they wouldn't come in, just rushing around. You could tell they were worn and it was late at night, but just rushing around. Well, what the hell was that? <laughs> there was some urgency to the older man's in injury, so it's understandable. What were they looking for? They were looking for Dr. Truman, but of course, I had nothing to say. The man was hurt, you know. Where is Dr. Truman? He left, of 
course. We've talked about it before. He left and we don't know how or when or what happened to his charming house. Well, we just don't know. I suppose we never will. You think he's in the zero? He left out of this kind of reality and commuted into the zero, maybe? What is this, like a griffin back there? Pearl, I heard a shout from downstairs. The old man had stumbled in the rain. I stayed inside with the lights off. There's no sense in getting, uh, in my getting involved. That's kind of what I do. Oh, someone's outside? Yeah, I'm not home. <laughs> Bert. I didn't see or hear a thing all night. I was in the back doing inventory when they came by. I got 30 cases of candles in, and each one of those has got to be individually labeled, you know? But I heard from some of the other neighbors that they weren't up to any harm, just passing through. It's like, it's like the museum staff are interviewing all the people that actually live in the museum, and the museum is actually a city, and they move the houses from the town into the museum, like, I don't know. Ezra. Oh. I saw you folks drive up. I like your truck. What kind of truck is that? Okay, first off, they're actually, he's actually talking to us. It doesn't belong to me, I just drive it. Yeah, I knew you were a driver. What's the biggest haul you ever did? I feel like if we keep answering his questions, he's not gonna... Well, I guess we have to now. I moved a couple horses once in a different truck. Me and Julian move whole houses every night. It's a lot bigger than a couple of horses. Really. So you bring them into this museum? Who's Julian? Julian's my brother. He's a lot bigger and stronger, and he has more feathers than me. What? But he's still my brother. You mean the one flying around? Oh, Julian's the griffin back there, I think. Where are your parents? Well... I don't know where they are. Me and Julian were looking for them for a while, but, well, now we have a job to do. Got to move these houses. Do you know where Dr. Truman is? Yes, ma'am. He's out in the forest. Me and Julian took him out there a few nights ago and he didn't want to come back. He lives there all the time now. This museum is an okay place to live in the daytime, but it's no good at night. Folks just can't sleep in a place like this, or when they do, it gives them nightmares. So we take them out to the forest to sleep, and then bring them back in the morning your family out in the forest? No, I'm getting pretty tired myself. Oh, maybe he'll take us out to the forest. He hurt his leg. We're looking for Dr. Truman to help him out. Can you tell us how to get there? You have to follow the Green River Way out east and then hop over Lake Cumberland. The roads don't go there. Me and Julian can take you. We were just about to go anyway. We just got to call him over. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay. Don't need those umbrellas, apparently. Also, when fell swoop, you picked all four of us up. Nice. So, this is the river. Green River, yep. I'm not controlling this, am I? Barren River. Oh, I am. I am controlling. Okay, so follow the Green River. You just, this bird, f like, flew, flies in, like, a circle if I don't do anything. House? What house? E house? The flayed hull of a country home smolders in the night. Parts of the property are obscured by smoke. That's not the one, okay. Where are we going? Follow the Green River. Way out east, and then hop over Lake Cumberland. Okay. Can do. So east, east, east. East is this way. You can see down here, east is this way. So church, follow the Green River. No, oh, keep... This looks like a lake to me. No, Mullen River Lake. Okay, right, go this way. Small figure. 
here's the Green River again. We're still going east, so this is good. Way out east, they said, so. Oh, I missed it. Oh, don't turn. Keep going. Alcorn mine. We're going off the map. So the bird will start, like, flying in a circle if we don't keep clicking. So I'm not sure which way here. The river forks in many directions. Okay, we've... Here's the green river, here's the lake. A shadowy figure drags itself out of the lake, stuffs its limbs into a smart blue suit, and trudges slackly out of view. What the hell? So is this Cumberland Lake? Green River Lake. Okay, we gotta go further, I think. We'll just keep going following Green River until we find Cumberland Lake, because apparently this will get there. Because we're like way off from where the roads go. Which is what we're supposed to do. Or not. Okay, where the hell's Cumberland Lake? Huh. So now we're kind of heading southwest. Let's retrace our Green River steps here. There's a lake down here, maybe. And the, the river does fork into many directions. Here's one that ends there. Green River Lake is not what we want. There's the third fork, and I think it goes this way, but it just abruptly ends. Did we go too far? This is the question. Well, we're well past where the roads go, but here's here are the roads again, so let, let's let it hover in a circle. You have to follow the Green River way out east and then hop over Cumberland, Lake Cumberland. Okay. So this, this way is... Now it's kind of south. Was there a lake down this way too? I thought there was. Still the Green River. Forks into three here. Just ends. We're at, we're done. Oh, out here, out here. So we can go past where the river ends. Here's Lake Cumberland, surely. There we go. This is a massive lake. We'll hop over in the easterly direction, following this compass here. And kind of hover around the lake. I'm sure he lives, he lives in the forest, but probably near the lake somewhere. What's this now? Forest. There you go. So even though the river kind of ends, we can keep going. Act 2, uh, Act 2, <laughs> Act 2, Scene 5. A forest. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That was like a bizarre act. The museum was really weird. Alright, so here we are with Ezra. We're gonna start from this location next time. We hit about half an hour and that's what I'm shooting for for these episodes. So, thanks for watching Kentucky Route Zero. Hope you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's trippy, it's weird, it's kind of surreal, which is the point, right? So we'll continue next time and we'll start from here. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.